what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko back with chair Hello. and uh chair actually just went undefeated today i just hopped into locals i wasn't playing today but he went undefeated and uh i have no idea what he's playing and he wanted to do a deck profile and show it off to you guys so i don't know how to introduce this but make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy these deck profiles chair i'm gonna let you take over yep. uh what is this deck do you want to show it off uh, what do you want to do so i'm playing this Oh, it's Gate Guardian! Yeah. You came first place with Gate Guardian. Actually, no. Okay, that was a joke. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, so it's not Gate Guardian. There's no way you can top it with that deck. Sorry, oh, okay. Guys. I thought yeah. it was actually... Was was, I saw there was hope, but there isn't. So, yeah. Alright, the actual deck profile. Okay, what are we actually playing? Alright, so... Fenrir's? Okay, yeah. so was it Kostra? Uh, Great point, because I the last round against a Sprite guy, I special Fenrir first. He ashed it. I'm like, I'm in. I mean... Really? So you just try to bait? So it's not even bait, it's just like, I'm just gonna add it regardless, right? Yeah. But there's a chance they think you're playing Kashira, and they think if you open Fenrir, you're kind of bricked. Yeah. So if you just do that, sometimes you just panic ash it, and you're like, okay, whatever, right? Okay. So it does that purpose, but it's just there for a free body. So. Okay, so it's not Kashira. It's not. I gotta figure out what this is still. Um, here we go. Oh, it's Dinomorphia! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got the Theresias and Diplos. Okay. So three and two, so this is the best one, you gotta play that. So it said I need the Anamorphia Trap. And this is two, because I used to run three, but I think two is the correct ratio, because you don't want to break on it. That's like really bad if you open it. Yeah. But you still have to play him because you have to use it. You his. need a name. You need a name. Unfortunately. Right? So three and two. So this is Dynamorphia, yeah, okay, but I feel like there's gonna be something spicy coming up here. There's spicy stuff. Okay, I knew it. There's, it's never basic with you. Oh, see, yeah, there we go. There we go, the lady, right? So all of the Dynamorphia stuff are normal traps. Yeah. So basically, the lady just give you another sort of a way to, you know, go into them very fast. You just like chain like uh, any of the Dynamorphia trap, and you chain her, you set another free trap. Free set, yeah, free anything, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a spice right there. And playing two flash. Of course. Yeah, you gotta play Axis for that. That's all the monster count. And okay. And the spell also triple prosperity. Of course. Right Staple, right? And one call by because you wanna you don't wanna get ashed. So Especially on your diamond roll traps. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wanna protect that. And of course. yeah, so it's always good. Only four spells and then the traps traps basically. Oh, so now the rest is just traps. The rest all traps. Okay. So the best, you know, the of three course. you play, you max it out, right? So Frenzy lets you turbo out the uh, Rexstrom, and then the Domain, just in case they ask you, you have another way to access to your boss monster. Yep. Pretty standard for those two. I would say I wouldn't change those up. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. And then the one Alert and one Sonic. Yep. I feel like they're the best ones, because Alert give you a way to get back your Rexstrom if you get kaiju or Imperm or something. And Sonic is just like Omnigate because everybody's playing evenly now in the yep. main, right? You need a protection, basically. Listen, before we keep going, you know what? I did, I did my Dynamorphia deck profile like a week or two a weeks ago. Yeah. And someone roasted me. They were like, only, you're only playing Alert and Sonic? And I'm like, those are the only good ones exactly, you need. Exactly, right? I was running the Brute as well before. But, but it's not good right now. Yeah, it's not that good right now. Thank you. Yeah, I understand. I saw, I saw the last, I'm like, oh, it's pretty similar to mine, right? Yeah. yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. And right, now we're going to branch out so to the spicy stuff. To, to the spicy stuff. Yeah, the okay. Triple Big Welcome. Of course. So this, because you, you only play one lady, so four card Labyrinth Engine. So this can... Basically, this doesn't lock you out of uh, anything because the Welcome Labyrinth, it locks you into Fiend. Yep. But this one has no uh, restriction. So you can just uh, join the standby phase, you can just uh, uh, turbo your lady. And then during mid phase, you can just get advantage of the lady for free. Okay. And also, sometimes it comes up, you can bounce their stuff back. If this is in the grave, you already have a lady. So it's pretty good. Makes sense. Also, lady is a body for you. Yeah, and then basically if you have set if you have set car and you have lady, they can't even get over it. It's yeah. so hard to get over, right? This is another way to protect yourself because Dynamorphia dies in battle a lot. Yeah. So that's giving that sort of protection. And now the real spicy stuff. What is this? Not actually spicy, but this is the Soul new trap of the Supreme that came King. out from the uh, Maze of Memories. Actually, it's pretty funny. OCG has been playing it, but uh, so basically what happens is so I'll show you the actual deck later. Pays you half your life points. Yeah. Because in Dynamorphia, you that want makes sense. It synergized so well, and also you can turbo this all with Lady as well. That's crazy. So it's a normal trap. So you get your three engine, right? So you get a Labyrinth, you get the Supreme King, and then you Dynamorphia. So you summons a Zark. Exactly, and then it's another Ash, tar ash targets, right? So you have more Ash base, right? So if you, I'll show you what it can do after. But this card is pretty crazy. That's it's, crazy. It's gonna be my extra deck, so I'll show you after. But okay. this card is crazy. Um, 
that's the spice, and then triple. You of play. course, you have to. You, this is the format, right? Yeah. You gotta play it. If you go second with this deck, you pretty much have to lose if you don't have any sort of like, you know, board breaker. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Triple evenly, and then of course, because you got a protection for that. Everybody's, you know, you have to have, you have the protection for their hate, right? So yeah. it's just like, yeah, pitch. And then trip judgment's good because you're playing Morphia, you want half your life. All this just time. synergizes. Paying half life is always so synergizes. I think this is the only deck that kind of like mean deck judgment a little yeah. bit better than any other deck. So I'm playing judgment. I mean, why not? Right? I agree. And then the last two, the Freyer Flames is like beautiful card. The Dynamorphia, the only deck who can use this to his full capacity. This card is just insane. And also, you can sell it off Lady for free. This is oh normal yeah, because the normal yeah, trap. so many normal targets, right? This is another one. So and so it doesn't affect you. Fun fact for anyone who doesn't know what this card does. Yeah, it it doesn't affect the cards. It affects the player. Basically, yeah, it shoves everything back. So what happens is. For example, if you a thousand life point, right? They have shovel everything uh, that's attack or higher than a thousand. They have shovel it back, so yeah. they keep nothing. So basically, Kashira they can't keep anything because everything is more than hundred attack. Yep. So they keep nothing. You clear the entire board. It's crazy. This card is broken. This card is so crazy. And this is the only deck that can play because you always like paying low life points. Yeah, you yeah, always yeah. have low life points, so it's pretty crazy. And then the two infern. That makes sense. Yeah, because. As the normal traps uh, for Dynamorphia, you do need uh, to have traps in your grave to use the Diplo and the Ceresius effect yeah. to banish off to special in the back. So that's like good fodder. It's just good generic. Like, it's also against, a good hand trap. Yeah, it's a good hand trap, right? Yep. Good against her. Okay. That's spicy. And then the extra deck. The okay. Spicy part. Okay, let's show the Dynamorphia stuff. So Candagina, Triple Rextra. Standard. Standard and double Stalpergia. So basically, yep. I never summoned this one. It's just like a fodder, fodder to fusion guy. this guy. That's it. And then three and three, because Kashitera, and you just want to have more if yep. you take, get rid of the fourth run, right? So pretty standard. And then the spicy part, here we go. Uh, here's the guy. This is the guy. Double Sorry. Supreme King's Art. So what happens is, okay, so... You play this trap, right? Yep. So basically what happens, so you set this trap in standby phase, you activate it. So this card is in the grave, you pay half your life point, good. You special summon Zark. Zark is the effect is negated, but it's like a 4k beat state, yeah. right? So it's like, okay, now it's like, oh, what do they do with that, right? So, and then during their turn, they activate any spell, you can chain effect to this in the grave. You banish this, and you banish the Zark. You can special summon up to four different dragons. I'll show you my targets. One, two, three, no way four, for free. So there's no so you're so basically summoning all of this out of, off out of, of a one single card, card for free. If they don't, if they choose to use a spell, but if they don't, they still have to deal with a forky body okay, and then play wave out spell. That so turn. any spell card, any means... spell, you just chain, right? That's insane. It's good. So this one, uh, this one is just like a three K piece. Wait, stick. are the effects negated? Uh, no, they're all live. No way. But this is the only one that's a like good effect. But those two, three, are also has many utilities. So this one just a three K beater because it doesn't have its X Y Z materials to yep. use the thing. Uh, this one, uh, if it uh, you go into battle phase trying to attack a monster, and if it wasn't destroyed, you can banish it. So this good gets over like freaking like I don't know. Sometimes you can try Any something like battle sometimes. or like yeah. a mosquito from the sprite or whatever. Yeah. you can banish it or whatever, right? Uh, this one uh, it doesn't have the pop effect because it wasn't fusion summon, but you still get the copy effect. So you can if it live sometime, you can copy the Kashira like Finra effect, become Finra oh. and stuff like that, right? And this is the best one. So basically, this uh, this one says uh, it's a spell trap negate. What the? Yeah, so it's a free spell every turn. Free spell trap negate. That's crazy. Yeah, and also. Uh, uh, if your opponent asks you a monster effect, you can chain to it, you gain their attack, and then for the rest of the turn, this is immune to activate the monster effects. That's crazy. So basically, yeah, so you want to get this like, uh, out and all three So four. there's ways you can set up this entire board with like a Rextrum. Basically, yeah, and then I'll have the Rextrum beside it, right? That's so it's like crazy. Fun, like, they have the gear, like, so be careful. Sometimes you can play to nips, but yeah. you just got to be careful that, right? But you can also choose not to summon all three. You can just summon one if you want to. Oh, you don't have to summon you all four. You don't have to. It up says to. up to? You can choose, right? Oh. So, so basically, you summon the four archetypes. So uh, a one pendulum dragon, one XYZ dragon, one single yeah. dragon, one fusion dragon. Yeah. They're all different archetype, right? Uh, you can also get the crystal wing, like the one that negate monster effect, but I feel like this one's stronger. Yeah. Because evenly and stuff in the format. So, but yeah, so usually I go this four. That's the crazy. Best one. Yeah. And then they have to deal with this before they even get to my Dynamorphia yeah. stuff. Before they get to your trap. They even get to before. my actual deck yeah. stuff. 
So sometimes I actually have like a finger or two, right? Yeah. That was my board against a runic player. And he just couldn't even out this guy because he used all his research trying to out him. Yeah. And then I just do my Dan Warfare play. He can't handle it, right? That's crazy. It, yeah. It just like puts so much pressure out of nowhere. I like this engine. Yeah. I, might, I might start doing this myself. Exactly. If they don't do anything, so this stay here. On their turn, it stays alive. And then you get a 4K beater. And then at the end phase, it go back to extra deck. Okay. So it's for next time. But That's still crazy. They're usually pretty dead because you're going to be having Rex Room, this guy, and Kenajina. Yeah. That's like 12K damage right there. So if they don't use the spell, they're pretty much fucked anyways. Yeah. So it's like a double end, you know. It's really, it's it's really, really strong. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. It's funny. And then the last extra deck, Spice. Okay, of course. Yeah, the true second punish because yeah. this is the only deck that can play the actual good second punisher because you're... Because you're paying all your life points. Your life points are so low. Like, I always find sometimes I just top deck like Ash or something. I have like a Retrum or one of this dead level 8 or something. Yeah. Also, uh, Lady is level 8 as well. So Ash plus any level 8. Ash level 8. That makes sense. Like, punish like 9k or something and just punch him. For That's me. crazy. Yeah. So many boss maps. That's really nice. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. I like this deck. And uh, side deck. Side just deck. before we go here. Uh, before we go, triple lava bomb. Of it's course. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they play around it, but I feel like it's really strong still, right? It's good into a lot of decks, not just yeah, cards, right? Yeah. Because they sometimes they don't think about it. I think everybody's on kaiju or some shit, yeah. so they make more. So it's just yes. if they commit, it's, you know. Yeah. Like uh, double storm, a one duster, just for back row hey, general back row hey. Uh, two double thrusting and talent, just so we can search evenly and then searching this draw two whatever is yep. pretty utility, and then you can search all your normal traps, be welcome labyrinth, uh, frenzy, whatever trap you're missing, yeah, whatever trap, right? So you can even go in first if they ask you, you do this, you set it, so you get it. You know, it's pretty good. Yep. And uh, one more Sonic in the side. You know, you want to open it against evenly and stuff. Yeah, every three. Game three. Uh, pointer is pretty broken. Yeah, look at their hand, take off their you know, kaiju or something, and then it reduce your life by two thousand. Always yeah, good. It's always gonna be good. Uh, and there's also a double your eradicator. Most of your stuff are dark targets, so you just do this against Runic or some uh, trap trick or labyrinth, you just instant lose, right? Yeah. You just call like trap or spell, and you have so many dark, you don't even care. Eradicator. That's pretty GG. good. And double summon them just in case they get rid of the my flood game monsters. That would be. To go first. If, if you're just sitting on a Rexstrom plus this, sometimes you just basically yeah, you just win. Yeah, because if they like imperm your Rexstrom, you still have a way to you know counteract it. So that's pretty much it. That's crazy, man! Yeah. Congratulations on your first place. I think you, I really you. like this Zark tech. It's pretty spicy. I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab a couple of those rares now. Yeah, you should. They're pretty good. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty cool. Anyways, yeah. congratulations on your first place. Thank you again for the deck profile. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, Spanko. Thank and you. There, signing out. Peace.